work permits for foreigners are supposed to be given for work which no Kenyan can do. When a fellow Chinese who cannot speak English is manning a gate and Kenyans are looking for jobs, what are you talking about, you fellows? Let's get to the bottom of this matter quickly. Lastly, can we afford a million shillings a day? What are you saying? These people are like, this thing is going to become like the port of, of Sierra, Sierra Leone and Sri Lanka. We are going to sell our national treasure to these people. 66% of our debt and is growing is to the Chinese. If you don't wake up and smell coffee, senators, and Sir Kasakaja, I thank you for bringing this up. This is going to be something. They have given me problems. Senator Senator was telling me about Imali Primary School. They split a school into two. The railway line is in the middle. The school is destroyed. They have, for, they have refused to repair it. When they go to Makweni, when we complain, they go and bribe the teachers, give them 200,000, 300,000. We have a crisis. Sultan Amud had a flood recently. Why? Because of the standard gauge railway. That's the first time we had a flood there. They've blocked all covers because of raising the railway. Let's get to the bottom of this matter. Or history is going to judge us so harshly when we begin paying and selling our country to the Chinese when we give them the port of Mombasa, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, and part of Kenya, which we will give to the Chinese. I call it the road to Shanghai. Thank you.